Hey everyone, I just capped the physical domain of water and wind. I haven't done the bird as you can see yet. I also haven't done most of the first stages. I was just focusing on the dragon boss because I feel like the bird boss is going to be much easier. So as you can see, I already capped this. I'm recording this after the fact. So, uh, this is the team, uh, fair warning, this is super expensive, might not be for you. If you're looking for replacements, no idea. If you don't have Knights of Grandchild, you are out of luck. They are the second best unit on the team. You could try Titus, star player Titus, but yeah. Not going to be the same result. You're gonna need a lot of god godlike roles, and if you have... If you don't have Knights of Grandshot or Auron and Auron, so to say, so two out of the six units, yeah, you're not gonna cap. All right, let's check out the team. So Esther, standard DPS gear. Nomad's Necklace, yada, yada, yada. Uh, she's a progenitous performer for faster chain capping. Has the Knights of Grandshot card. Uh, and 8.2k attack, she has 300 dragon and overcaps LB by a lot. Uh, Brave Shift is geared for evasion, um, just and, and most importantly happen of purity for the status immunity. The boss uh, is going to poison us at some point, we need to be immune on that with most units, so we take as little damage as possible, I should say. And the rest is basically LB fill, LB fill rate. So she has max LB fill rate and 900 LB fill per turn. Next up is Lord of the Seas Nicole. Base form is where he will DPS. Uh, he's fully passive provoke evading in both forms. Uh, he has lightning fast legend. If Things go south with Esther on turn 3, which they shouldn't, I optimized for that. And he's using uh, Tyvus' card. Fun fact, I just got my second Tyvus card today. Uh, but I'm not using two in this run. The Brave Shift is built for Esperfil. I don't need the Esperfil anymore, so you could go do away with all of this. It's just... <sighs> if, you're, if you have all the gear, do yourself a favor. And don't put so much on it. You need some Esperfil, but you don't need to go this overboard. Next up, Roberta, base form. Uh, she has 1200 LB per turn already, I feel like, with her card. So I gave her maxed out LB for right too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. She's on the Bonds with the Crimson Dragon card. Brave Shift, get for DPS, obviously. <coughs> she deals a lot of damage, she has extensions, she gears super easily for Dragon. Who would have thought for a Dragoon? So 300 Dragon, 800 Jump Damage, and again, the Crimson Dragon card. Knights of Grandshield next, a Seraph Staff. It's not needed, I found out. The buff of it runs out on turn 4 or 5 when we actually need it, so yeah, too bad. Otherwise, passive provoke, yeah, not passive provoke, a full evasion in base form, his own card, and uh, brave shift, super easy gearing for a DPS. He has 300 LB, a little bit overcap, 300 dragon, uh, the usual stuff, Tyvus' spirit, so he's got the full package, right? Tyvus' master of fate, um, chain cap. The good stuff basically. Minus 130, uh, you don't need him at 130. I think he's a good investment regardless because of how Global treats Dark Visions. So, yeah. Next up, Oren, standard build. Uh, yeah. So, he is on Tyvus' spirit as well, indestructible light, etc. And he also sports 300 Dragon, 300 LB, the good stuff, and he's using his own vision card. And lastly, Laura, Lara Croft, base form, uh, LB Phil, as you can see, a lot of it, Type of Spirit, my third copy of it, so if you don't have three Types of Spirit, tough luck, I guess. Um, 
You could probably try to substitute lateral barrel garb here, but then again, you'll be running into LB filtrate issues. So better have three types of spirit. And yeah, that's a build. So she, she's on a great sword as well. Uh, the Knights, Grand Shell, Knights of Grand Shell's STMR is best here because it has 75% rank killer, which is super good for this. And yeah, she two sports, 300 rank, 300 LB. Let's get into the fight. And if I don't cap on this one, my, my average is around about 19 billion. We need 20.2 billion. So might cap, might not cap. I will add it in the actual cap though. Um, if I fail to do so here, so you can see the actual capping try. I didn't talk in that though. All right, so first turn, Lara is going to limit. Roberta is going to Draconic, Mega and support. Nicole is going to True Enhancing. Esther is just going to Impact. Once, do we actually? Yeah. Grand Shield is going to just film. Yeah. And Oren is not going to do anything. Turn one, the boss, just a, sing a single attack. Which is also a dot. It's uh, that is water type. So your Nicole has 100% innate water resistance anyway. So that's easy. All right. So Esther brave shifts, and she will triple shatter bolt, and that's the reason why we need full evocation gauge on turn two because crashing tides consumes evo gauge, and we are going to cap or. Not cap, but get rid of the 100 chain score. Now I forgot to do this, but it's fine. So you should, in an ideal case, always use Lara first. I didn't, but oh well. Let's wait for this to finish. Lara limits, or also limits. And Knights of Grandchild can just do whatever. Just do Relling try, I guess. You should never bring the boss below 50%, by the way, because that's when the boss switches from his, I believe, poison stuff to berserk single target. And removing berserk single target is kind of no bueno. Alright, turn 3. We'll limit with Knights of Grandshield, we'll limit with Esther, we'll limit with Roberta, we'll limit with Lord of the Seas Nicole. So lots of limit bursts, uh, Omnia Storm, and triple hot shot. So let's send in Esther first. Well, I should have sent in Knights of Grandchild first, actually. Oh well. So Knights of Grandchild should have gone first, so we deal a little bit less damage, but it's whatever. Let's send in Oren. And the reason why we're setting up Esther's field instead of Nicole's field Esther's field deals more damage or provides a higher damage boost to the party than Nicole's Imperial field. All right, let's use these two LBs as well. 300% LB buff for Knights of Grandchild and Oren. That is the important part. Lara and Esther have their own 300% buffs. So we need on this turn a lot of or a couple of drops on Berda. We only got one. We can still fill enough LB gauge on Roberta regardless. So we'll be fine. Uh, first things first, turn four, we'll do volatile ammunition. We'll shift Esther. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get enough LB crystals on her as well. Either or is fine, honestly. Uh, I don't think this is quite enough for all, oops, all three actions. Oh, nope. Got our shift first. All right, let's see, is it enough? It is. So if it's not enough, uh, you could then use, I don't know, Supreme Impact. So you, if it wasn't enough on your um, Roberta, you could just Supreme Impact twice and give it all you've got. That's the uh, light Im uh, amplification of it, the, the big one, which you're gonna need. So you could have done this, for example, 
and hope for a few more B crystals on the Ouroboros. Mine didn't get any, so that's unfortunate, but if that happens, yeah, the run is over. Technic well, it's not technically super over because there's still one more chance you could go for Flood or you should go for Flood, protect Gashelga. That's your next chance of hoping for a few LB crystals on Roberta. Yeah, mine got it, so mine would have filled her LB by now. I also could have done Shatterbolt, so it's fine in the end. So I could have done Shatterbolt twice, even Quantum Storm on, on her, and that would have been it. Yeah, at, at this point, your Roberta would have had full LB gauge as well, if she stayed in base form, that is. So that's how you do this and handle that fact. All right, so here comes the poison attack, which I could technically Omni cover, I guess, but I'm not uh, because the Omni cover would then ruin other things on the next turn, which I don't want to happen. All right, so turn five. The right hand side will tie with a spirit. Uh, super important um, after you send in the Ty vs. Spirit uh, guys and girls is that Esther does triple, uh, double bolting impact and calm before the storm before anything happens because she's going to do a lot of damage to the boss already and we don't want her imbued. As you can see 53% don't drop the boss below 50. So true water infusion and then last action, Crimson Dive. So we wait for the imbue. That's the last piece missing. And off we go. We're taking a little bit of damage, but it's fine. I believe 10k is what we're allowed to take. We're staying far below that. All right, so lots of LB is going on right now. So Esther, Knights, Oren, Lara will limit. And that's why the field is up, because of those four units are pretty good. Well, technically it's the most damage is coming from Esther, Knights and Oren. And Roberta is also super high in damage, but she can't benefit from the LB field. So we're sending in Oren first. He takes quite some time and then send in the rest, basically. So wait for this. Send these two in. Even though Gra Knights of Grandshield appear to be quick, they are certainly not. So this is not capping. I saw a 1.2 billion on Esther. It's last hit, so that's not gonna cut it. Yeah, 18 billion. Oh well, I'm gonna edit in my 21 billion cap run after this. So you can see uh, the actual try. It's just variance. I, like I said at the beginning, I capped on my second attempt. So yeah, Oren underperformed a bit. Esther highly un underperformed like her max variance roll is 6.2 billion so yeah uh, knights of grandchild also underperformed their max roll is about 5.36 billion i don't i don't know i, I think it's 5.5 billion to be honest I, i've seen 5.1 billion already at one attempt so yeah uh, and Oren is pretty decent his max variance roll is 4 billion or so 4.5 i don't know but it's decent from what I've seen so far. We didn't cap this one, but I'm gonna edit in uh, my cap right now. So I, I didn't record anything in that cap. So uh, I just recorded the run, so I don't talk in that. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the cap run and see you all probably tomorrow for the uh, Birch Boss. Bye bye.